welcome back to Teddy and Lycan's Horror Party Massacre. Uh, it's a little late going. Um, there's a lot of things have been going on. So we're finally doing our Horror Realm. <sighs> yeah, and this is about, what, a week late? Almost a week late? Wasn't it last weekend we won, or did it, was it the weekend before? Um, I think it might have been the weekend before. It was Sunday you went the 5th. Yeah, this is like two weeks old. Mm -hmm. Fuck. We not doing our job. Mm -mm. So let's get right the fuck into it. Mm -hmm. Let's dig right in. Of course, I'll let Lycan, this is one of our, you know what this is. So I'll let you start talking about it while I try to unravel it. Well, you guys all know who I love. Barcode. This is... One a, a barcode original. I got a little bit of it. It's pink bubble wrap. I try to get it nice and smooth. Maybe that's there we go. Okay. Three hours later. Three hours later. Maybe. Maybe four hours later. <laughs> and this is Canvas. It is a baby Lost Boys. Very cool. And we got, got our Chinese maggot food there. That's a pretty cool one. I like that one. He did pretty good on that. Mm-hmm. And there, that's... Looks like that is 2016 that he did this piece. And it's just been hanging on to it ever since. And so, I got to, well, we got it. That's right. And since we're showing barcode stuff right at the beginning, I am going to let her... Of course, we walked away from the barcode table with some stuff. I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, I think I do. I haven't even looked at this stuff. Yeah, this stuff's just been sitting here for two weeks waiting for us to dig in. Horror Realm, we really like it. It's a smaller convention. Um, I don't think we did anything with celebrities this time around. We were just... This was our big weekend. that uh, We went to two conventions in, the, in one weekend. We went to Frogman. That, you already seen the video for that. And then we went to Pennsylvania. Our wonderful town of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. To see Horror Realm. Oh. This is not the typical barcode that you guys see all the time. No, it's not. But that's kind of great. But I cannot wait to get this framed out of the thing and get it framed. There's some other. Now, is this new artwork or is this just. I think this is old artwork. Another oh, oldie? Yes, and I love That's it. That's cool. I like that, though. I love it. The conjo it's, uh, conjoined twin heads. Yes. Skulls. Let's see here. Yeah, this is a 2016 as well. Yes. Very nice. Very cool. We always get our barcode art, always. And two of non-horror movies, but <laughs> guilty pleasures for... Me and him. I don't think they're guilty pleasures. I think I just but. fucking like them. I think. Maybe. Let's see what it is again. National Born Killers and True Romance. True Romance. Are you going to show it? Yes. True Romance I like. Natural Born Killers I'm not really a big fan of. They're just a little goofy. I am so... They're a little too over the top, I, love I think. It. Love, love, love it. But good print. And then what else we got from Barcode? I'm not 100% familiar with this, but I thought that it was very cool looking. I like the original, but I really love what he did with this. As one of my favorite Disney villains of all times is Ursula from Little Mermaid. And I think the other one's name is Babs. But he combined Babs it's a mashup. and Ursula mashup. And I just absolutely love that. <laughs> love, 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 love. Very cool. 
very, very cool. Drag is not a crime. Exactly. Is that it? Is that That's it? it? That's it. That's it, baby. That's all we got from Burko this time? I know. I know. Wow. I know. I'm not happy either. Slacking. I know. get into this bag here what do we got here we're gonna start off with scream team releasing was there we love scream team releasing we've gotten a lot of stuff from them mm -hmm. and very few pieces we have went Ugh. i think there's only been one movie that we've gotten probably out of close to a dozen uh and there's only been one that we haven't liked well here's the one of their newest releases beneath the old dark house this is an anthology flick. Take a look at the back there. They kind of did it up VHS style on the back, but look at this little creepy fucker. You get a good shot of that? That's a creepy looking shit. I don't even know what the hell that is. I think that's the one, the one I chose. I can't remember. We've yes, been... it is. I gave her the option of two of their newer releases. This or Back Road. Back Road is uh, another one that I want to get. It's probably going to be something that is extremely brutal because it's an X-rated version, uncut. We also picked up, did we get this from them? No, we didn't get that from them. We got, we get these from them? No, we didn't get those from them. Come on! I know there's something else from that table in here. Somewhere. All right, fuck it. We're just, there's something else from their table. We'll Several get to that later. Things. I'll let you take those. We don't even know what the hell these are. So, really. They're more movies from independent art, uh, independent The Five creators. Senses, Volume 1. I'm very excited about this. Um, Two Tales featuring scent, scent and, and sound, sound. With Red Rabbit and Tinnitus. And it includes all five trailers. I don't really have much of the slightest clue what this is. And then... Dinner with the Richards, which was also from that table. This is Broken Clock Entertainment. I'm very, very excited. And the uh, box art is just neato. So I'm very excited. And we will do reviews of these once we get hey, maybe those... even a 
like and full moon review. That's what I was thinking. I'll let you show that off because that's one of your specialty. So uh, specialities. So for Christmas, Chetty got <coughs> old like in here a uh, jean jacket with cryptid patches on it. Yep. And so I saw at Horror Realm, I got me a, another patch to put on there. I got me my Yeti. You guys know that I love my Yetis. So I got me a Yeti. Cryptozoology Tracking Society. So I cannot wait to get that onto my jacket. Let me see what's it. All right. Cool. That is, we like cryptids. And the Yeti is probably one of my more favorite ones. There's a lot of goofy cryptids. I like the Yeti. I like the Dogman Michigan. I like Bigfoot. Particularly the Bogey Creek and uh, Skunk Ape versions of Bigfoot. I don't like Squonk. And I love Squonk. I don't like Squonk. Squonk, the Wendigo, and the Yeti. Wendigo I love. Wendigo I love. I don't like Wendigo Squonk. Wendigo is got, got my heart... But Squonk, there's just something special about like that squonk. little guy. And the Yeti. I don't like Squonk. And it was the Yeti. It was somebody that we saw at Steel that had a Yeti polymer clay piece that got me back into cryptids. So it's all her fault. I don't like Squonk. I love Squonk. You see the forms. Moving right along. All right, I need to reach into this and pull these out to start with. Did you open both of these? Yeah, I guess you did. This again, another another purchase by Lichen. This is more artwork. We do so love our art. This comes from Vile Consumption. You guys just seen me do a video of his cards recently. Mm -hmm. Not just me. We both did, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we were both in that one. Well, I was well, filming him. Filmage. This is one of his original pieces. Not something that you'll be able to purchase. A Not a black and white version of. Of course, he's got the color version, but we like the original stuff. And this is the Funhouse Monster. That's Gunther. I think that's his name, isn't it? Gunther? I think so. I think that's what his name is. And then she got a second piece from him, which is Victor Crowley. Hatchet. Adam Green creation, played by Kane Hodder. I was very surprised you got this one. I was not uh, aware that you were a big fan of the Hatchet series. I love Adam Green. I uh, There was a couple others that I uh, wouldn't mind hadn having. Uh, one of them was a oldie but goodie. It was... Um, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, uh, the cre the gargoyle female that it w I think the story was called the Promise, and um, I want to say the guy that was actually her love interest is uh, one of the warriors, isn't he? Huh? The guy that was her love interest in the uh, Promise wasn't he one of the warriors? I don't know, maybe. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that shows how much he... Oh, oh, yeah. Stated. Yes, yes, in the gargoyle. The gargoyle story. It's called The Promise, as I just stated. It, yeah, but it was a gargoyle. The name of the episode may have been The Promise, but it was a gargoyle. It was in the episode. Yes, it was a gargoyle. See... But her love interest, I believe, is one of the... He's one of the warriors. Yes. He was also Gans in 48 Hours. Not a horror flick, but a great one. Picking up also from Vile Consumption, we got... Stace, the Lycan decided she was going to get some murder cards. These are what I just recently opened up on a video. And we're not going to show you the cards because you already seen them in that video. You want to see what they were again? Go look. But she did get a ghost face glitter card. This is one of the variants. You can see it glittering there. There's supposed to be another one of them has got the stab green stuff going on it. 
So the variants are pretty fucking cool. We dig it. <laughs> spoiled Teddy here yeah, because Christ. 15 years is a is a stretch. 15 uh, years. Uh -huh. And one of the things that he loves to collect, and I spotted <coughs> it, but I wasn't 100% sure if he had it already, was he likes cassette soundtracks. And we both love the Bond <coughs> movie, the first and the second one. And they had on cassette the soundtrack. The soundtrack for Bond 2. Done by Rocky Gray, who is an amazing independent composer on uh, on the independent horror scene. We also got this signed by the director and the one of the actors that was there. It was actress. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll show you a picture of, that we took with the actress right here. This and is the then, other thing that we got. And then I love enamel pins. And I saw this set and I said, oh, hell to the yes. Also signed by the director and the same girl. Look at all those enamel pins. Those are all the creatures in the barn part two. Which, by the way, we have seen and it is a really good follow up. Familiar faces come back. Lots of familiar faces. We will possibly do a review on it. And they left it wide open for a part three, which I the director said they'd love to do it. But And got... unpopular opinion. I actually enjoyed Lloyd Kaufman in the movie. And I actually enjoyed Ari Lehman in the movie. And I'm not a fan of either one of them. I don't like Squonk. But, in, in fact, you guys let me know what kind of frame, what kind of frame I should get, because I want to keep this on this thing. And what's so cool yeah, about the signatures this. signatures and all, that's cool. What I think is cool about this, remember, in, back in the 80s, when you went to the video store and they had the different color stickers. I'm even going to keep the price tag with the pink <laughs> sticker. For nostalgic reasons, I think that's badass. I'm very happy with my purchase. Hell yeah. Well, you can't go wrong with the barn, too. And these are really good quality pins. They're heavy. I mean, that is heavy. Mm -hmm. You can talk about that. <laughs> There's a lady that I see. I've seen her at Steel. I've seen her at Horror Realm. I even think I've seen her at another... Um, I think I even saw her at Motor City Nightmares. And um, I love her. I'll never forget her because... Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. I will never forget her because she did a slipway camp. Anatomy correct. <laughs> and I thought it was awesome. But this little guy, there's his shell. It's an eyeball. Look at that little face. Look at that. Look at that face. Look at the face. Hello. He's so cute. He might go on our Christmas tree. No, he's going to go on my new badge. You're not going to want to walk around with that. Yes, I am. Okay, if you say so. 
things that I picked up for, like, and, and this is the last batch. These are some things I got for her for our anniversary. And because I got them for her, I'm going to let her show them off. All of these came from the same table, and I don't even know who the hell is running the table. I don't remember. And I found out something, speaking of this guy here, I found out something last night, I think. The voice of Falcor, the Luck Dragon, is also the voice of Skeletor. <laughs> I just found that out yesterday. But look at my Skeletor tile, and look at this. Look at that. That's pretty hardcore. That is freaking awesome. Because I love Skeletor. Skeletor's my buddy. And look, he's even got his kitty cat. Oh, I didn't notice the he's cat. He's got his kitten with I him. I didn't notice Panthor. It, what, what's its name? Panthor? Is that right? I think so. But then kitty kitty. <laughs> it does a kitten. We also... Got, I am I, not nice. I also got for her this guy. <laughs> I almost bought this guy for myself. <laughs> I don't know why I love this. <laughs> that is coolies. Freaking cute. I don't know what the original thing is made out of, because this is obviously they... Plastic. Well, yeah, I know the toilet's plastic. I don't even know where they came up with a plastic toilet from, but what is this? Is this like a Cupid doll or... Probably. But what is so cool about this, the first commission print that John did for me as a surprise is him from Ghoulies. So how cool is that? <laughs> That's what I was going to do. <laughs> and last thing that I got for her, this is to go with some of the little plushy things upstairs. We got critter eggs. Crites. The babies. And they got the little nest right there. And it comes See? with its own little yeah, nest. nest. See? I'm kind of hard to see there. Yep. He's already got a little nest. And now she can put one of her, uh, one of her critters, stuffed animal critters in there with them. And mm -hmm. I thought that, I, when I picked it up, I said, is this what I think it is? And they were like, critters? I went, yep, yeah, you got it. So that's pretty <laughs> cool. I like this little handcrafted, unique stuff like that. Yes. Not mass produced at all. That's pretty neat. So the just... very, very <laughs> last thing that we got, because I'm into crystals. In fact, I want to take this with me on Saturday because my crystal buddy expert can tell me exactly what stone this is. But I did a spider crystal. I'm going to find out Saturday what kind of stone it is. Is that? But it is too freaking cool. But I did a little baby spider. Little baby. Little baby. And a Jolly Rancher. Think of the show. As usual, I love the smaller shows. The smaller shows are awesome. They're not as crowded. They're not as insane. Um, they're more intimate. 
because they're tiny, so it's not... Huh? Go ahead. So it's not, you know, you, you have to move on fast because you'll get run over by all these people. So, like, like the show that we're going to next weekend. But we're not going to talk about that on this video because this is strictly Horror Realm related. Yes. Good show. We liked it. Had some good vendors there. It's always good to see Vile Consumption and Scream, Dream, uh, Scream Team releasing. Always good to see the barcodes. Oh, yeah. They're, they're That's family. Always, that's yeah. always a wonderful time. Yep. Uh, and like I said, it was nice seeing some of these uh, independent folks that do things like like this guy and 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 eggs you know so we had a good time their celebrity list wasn't too bad i mean if we were there for celebrities we would have walked away with a couple mm -hmm. i can't tell you who but tom fredley and oh yeah tom uh, fred uh, Fried, friedley 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 and uh, what was the girl dana moss de moss i don't remember their uh, her name exactly but they're from friday the 13th part 2 um, who else was it? Tom McLaughlin part was part six. I was about to say part, part six. Two. Yeah, I'm all mm. fucked up. Tom McLaughlin was there as well. Uh, they had some fucking terrifier people. Yeah, don't get um, don't get him started on terrifier. Let's just end this with smiling and nodding, and stay spooky. Have a jolly rancher. Mwah! I like it spooky. I uh, I want to thank you. Anything you want, you, you just name it. You want the Jolly Rancher? No, I don't want the Jolly Rancher. You don't like Jolly Ranchers? No. Really? I used to love Jolly Ranchers. The fuck is wrong? I don't like squawk.